<sighs> Hi guys, how's it going? Not much happening. We've had, uh, had a fair bit of wind last week. So much so that my uh, portable garage now looks more like a more like a skeleton than anything else. Um, pretty well lost. Well, the whole tarp is gone. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, 60, 80 kilometer hour gusts. But, you know, that's to be expected. We live in the prairies. Uh, little shout out to my, uh, my uh, younger older sister, little B. Uh, a week ago, Thursday, was her last day working. Um, for the rest of the year, she had a bunch of holidays she had to use up. So she's off on holidays until January because she never uses all of them. Um, but this is kind of unique in that when her holidays are done, she's done. She's retired. Uh, you know, good for you, sis. You know, it's been 30, 35, 36 years, I think, that she's worked for the for the Canadian government. Uh, she was down to a, a three-day work week, which they allowed when you get close to your retirement. Uh, kind of allows you to start winding down, so to speak. So she's got that done. And she seems quite happy about it. She actually flew into Winnipeg yesterday for a week or so for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving weekend uh, up here in Canada. I guess Thanksgiving is tied in kind of with the harvest, and our harvest is you know ahead of the Americans. Our our, you know, our growing season finishes earlier. Anyway, just thought I'd. Uh, give you a little update and maybe we'll go outside and do something so and uh, see it healed pretty good just a couple of scars from where that grinder exploded and took it out so a couple of uh, bonfire or forest fires going on in the province the other day one was in a little town called Vita they lost three or four houses I think uh, sorry for that, uh, for those people. Um, AJ, my middle son, uh, had fire going on just north of his house, five, five to six kilometers north or something, and north wind was blowing their direction, but I guess that they're out of the woods now. So uh, let's just... Uh, I'm going to head outside. The dogs are outside and they're likely going to want in. We'll head outside and see what we can do, get, get into today. Shit. Was going to show you that from the inside, but... Uh, Judging from what I see, and uh, I'm not dressed for the weather. <laughs> oh well, shit happens. Yeah. I was watching uh, Tommy Shoe's video uh, the other day on his toolboxes where the, the garage door fell on the, on the one toolbox. That really sucks. At least it didn't hit somebody or hit, hit a car. Uh, especially you know, like your wife's car or something like that. That really sucks. Um, you know, he was saying, you know, someone had told him, you know, cheer up, things could get worse. Well, I cheered up and sure as, sure as hell things got worse. Actually, the snow hit yesterday. I was just playing. Uh, the snow was welcome. Well, we wanted the um, 
we definitely wanted the, the precipitation for the fires um, but we didn't need need it in snow form and we've had the strong winds and you can see that my uh, my portable garage the tarp on it completely shredded I had the couple of breaches about a month ago or whatever and this last week we've had at least three three days maybe four of really strong winds that um, have really wreaked havoc in the area um, at the end of the video I'm going to post a, uh, a picture that AJ took out of his front door um, he's about 50 kilometers east of us and they got more snow than we did which is good because they also had the fires so that's good for them um, not a lot happening um, otherwise uh, been feeling like crap but you know I've been that's kind of the new norm I guess I guess the the new thing for me is I'm gonna feel like shit forever unless things pick up and get better which can happen I'm just checking something online here so bear with me um, where is my inbox uh, just a quick update for okay there's my inbox uh, Where did I put it? Content. No, that's not what I wanted. Comments. That's what I wanted. Uh, for Kanaka 510 down in Hawaii. Uh, sorry it's taking so long, bud, but my health issues are wreaking havoc. I have the control arm stripped down. Um, I got all the parts off. Everything that will come off except for the control arm bushings are taken out of it and uh, I was even able to, that little metal pocket if you look in the previous videos where I show it uh, it was bent a little bit I was able to get that straightened out for you as well um, now I just have to figure out how to get it to you uh, price wise um, I'm going to check with our post office here and also I'll check with uh, like Purilator Courier or uh, FedEx or things like that and see how much it's going to cost to ship to you and then I'll let you know and uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, but sorry it's taken so long. Hope you understand but uh, we will we will get you your, uh, your uh, lower control arm. Um, good to see HPRs back. You know uh, um, good to see that it, it's hard to keep up with videos nowadays too though anyone else have that problem where the videos just come in you can't watch all of them or you know how do you how do you pick and choose which ones to watch and um, what are you guys looking for in videos uh, from other people it's from me as well I'd like to know what it is you guys want to see uh, from me I know being the garage you want to see me working on the cars and stuff um, but as for other content uh, I'd appreciate if you guys could you know leave a comment what kind of stuff you would like me to put on there if I'm not working on cars or because of my my problems with my health if I'm not able to Let's see if I can find a place to put this instead of holding it that's not going to work um, how much of this crap with my health do you want to be bothered with or how much you know f family stuff and uh, you know I don't want to bore you guys and you know if I make videos that you guys aren't watching then I can kind of tell but it, whether whether it's a, a subject that's interesting to you or not but um, you know, of course, I don't want to bore you, and if I'm making videos that nobody's watching, then there's really no, no purpose behind me doing that. Um, you know, it's wasting your time watching them, it's wasting my time making them, and I don't want to do that. Um, 
time out for a minute. I'm going to get something to show you guys something. Okay. Just mentioning the other day, uh, I've lost about 35 pounds since I stopped working. So this ring fits a little bit better. It's still a little bit tight, but not too bad. It's about right now. My regular wedding ring, we stopped resizing it a while back, and uh, I never wore my ring, uh, or I still don't, just out of habit, I guess. But for the years that I worked as a mechanic, I never wore my ring because uh, I had a friend almost ripped his finger off with his wedding ring once. And when you work on cars and that, it's not really a, a good idea, especially you know, body work might be a little different where you might scratch something. Uh, which is not good, but uh, when you're a mechanic, reaching into tight areas, they get snagged, you can cause short circuits. Uh, anyway, I never wore it, so I got this little cheap stainless steel one that fits instead. So it will come off, and I'll show you. Canadian quarter my ring. See that? Coming from the front. Bring it out the back. A quarter fits through my ring. By how much? Well, I don't know if you can see light around it or not. There's not a lot of light behind me, but yeah, there is just a little bit of light in between the ring and my quarters so big hands big guy smaller than I used to be anyway enough blabbing 15 minutes about nothing so take it easy and uh, please leave a comment subscribe uh, especially leave a comment let me know what kind of uh, what kind of things you want me to put videos on and for those of you out there that I don't have your addresses, and I think I've mentioned everybody, uh, Ziggy sent me his as well. Um, Iceman 22ST stickers are now available to do a video swap. So anyway, take it easy. Have a good one.